Welcome! In this tutorial you will see how to use Excel's data analysis tool to conduct a two-sample t-test for unequal variances. Let's start with an example. Suppose we have two locations that serve fast food through a drive-up window. Management would like to study the time it takes to fill an order at each location. The time it takes to fill an order is defined as the number of minutes it takes from when a customer first gives an order to when it is delivered to that customer at the drive-up window. Data are collected from a random sample of 20 cars at each location. Let's call it location A and location B. Here are the data. Assuming that the population variances from the locations are not equal, is there evidence of a difference in the mean waiting time between the two locations? Use a 0.05 level of significance. So this would be a two-tail test since we want to see if there is evidence of a difference between the two locations. There is no focus on a direction. Let mu1, the mean from population 1, be the mean order time of location A, and let mu2, the mean of population 2, be the mean order time of location B. The null hypothesis is the status quo, that there is no difference between the two locations, the alternative hypothesis, also called the research hypothesis, is what we are looking for evidence for, so we would state our null and alternative hypotheses as follows. H0, that mu1 minus mu2 is equal to 0, meaning that there is no difference between the two, and then HA, the alternative hypothesis, would be that mu1 minus mu2 is not equal to 0. That would mean that there is a difference between the two locations. Since we are assuming that the variances are unequal, we need to use the separate variance t-test for the difference between two means. Pause this video and copy the numbers I have here and then follow along. First, click the Data tab. Then here, click on Data Analysis. And then in the Data Analysis toolbox, scroll down to where it says t-test, to sample, assuming unequal variances. Select that and then click OK. Now we need to input the variable 1 range, so that is location A, and so select A1 through A21. You can click on the first cell in the column and then press the Shift, Control, and Down key to select the numbers in that column. And now we need to input the variable 2 range, that is location B. So select B1 through B21. Again, Shift, Control, Down key. Next, where it says hypothesized mean difference, that is D0. So we put in 0. The hypothesized difference between mu1 minus mu2 is 0. Now we have labels in row 1. Here you can see the labels say location A and location B. So make sure to check off this box where it says Labels. And then put in your level of significance, alpha. By default, alpha is set to 0.05, and for this problem we are using 0.05. So let's leave it alone. Now press OK. We get a new sheet with all the statistics we need to solve this problem. Let's take a look first here in B4. We have the mean for location A. It is 3.315. And in C4, we have the mean for location B, and that's 3.71. The variances are 0.4 for location A and 3.28 minutes for location B, so it does look like the variances are quite unequal. Always check the number of observations, just to make sure you selected all the data. We know there were 20 observations for each location, so this is good. Here are the degrees of freedom for this example, 24 and that is very different from our standard n1 plus n2 minus 2 since these variances are so different that formula will not work. Now when you're learning hypothesis testing you can come to a conclusion using either the critical value approach or the p-value approach and Excel gives you both numbers. The test statistic is here in A9 and it's labeled t-stat. Here it is 0.910085 now this was set up as a two-tail test, and the critical value for a two-tail test would be here in B13, 
and it is 2.06389. So that is our cutoff for the rejection and non-rejection regions. And so if the test statistic is 0.91 and the critical values are plus and minus 2.06, then the test statistic falls in the non-rejection region. We cannot reject the null. There is no evidence of a difference between the two locations. Now let's take a look at the p-value. Using the p-value approach, we would compare the p-value with alpha. The p-value for a two-tail test is always double the p-value for a one-tail test. So we have a p-value of 0.3718 since this is a two-tail test. The rule is to reject the null hypothesis if the p-value is less than or equal to alpha, and it definitely is not. 0.3718 is not less than 0.05, therefore do not reject the null hypothesis. There is no evidence of a difference between the two means. And that's it. We have conducted a two-sample hypothesis test assuming unequal variances using Excel. I have another video to conduct two-sample hypothesis tests for equal variances, so check that out as well. I hope this example helped you, and I hope you learned something.